burn away castable resin. Let's give it a review. Biff, pow, zap, clunk, clunk, ouchie. Hey guys. A few weeks ago, I was very pleased to be contacted by an Australian company, Monocure 3D, asking if I'd be interested in reviewing their castable resin, Burnaway. And of course, I was happy to give it a go. And here it is. As a general rule, castable resins tend to be expensive, slow to print, and full of finicky extra steps to ensure that everything works just so. I was keen to discover if Burnaway was the same and spent a while researching their website. Now, at that time, there was no information on display, but this is a new product and I'm sure Monocure will get their website updated soon. In fact, I dropped them an email expressing my concerns about this and they very quickly replied with a link which proves that they're on the case. There's even a video which has clearly been put together by their marketing department and, as such, has caused me a few concerns. Monocure 3D's Burnaway Resin is the development breakthrough the investment casting industry has been waiting for. Ooh! This unique material allows 3D printing at never-before-seen speeds. Impressive! You'll find the base settings for most popular printers on our website. Fantastic! Unlike other castable resins, Burnaway doesn't require preheating. Brilliant. Well, all this sounds too good to be true, so I guess we'd better take a closer look. I decided to print this pendant, which I'll be showing you how to make very easily in a future video. But full credit where it's due, this lion's head was designed by Printed Obsession, and they kindly gave me permission to use this piece and even allow me to give away the pendant for free personal use on Thingiverse, Thangs, Printables and Colts 3D. So my thanks to Printed Obsession for their excellent artwork and generosity. My go-to printer right now is the Frozen Sonic Mighty Revo, and so that's what I'll be using for my prints today. Despite being my go-to choice, Frozen hasn't updated the preheat only approach with its heater. So given that castable resins usually take a long time, this unique material allows 3D printing at never before seen speeds. Yeah, I know, but we'll get to that. I decided to include the Chi2 Systems heater, which easily fits inside. After a good shake, it's obvious that this color puts the violent in violet but it's clearly nice and fluid. I do have to say at this point though, that this resin does have a strong odor, so good ventilation is a must. Despite their friendly link, there was no printer settings on the website that I could see, but it's early days, so hopefully this will change in time. However, in their downloadable literature, Monocure state a normal layer exposure time of 1.6 seconds. And given that most castable resins typically take between 6 and 8 seconds per layer, that would be impressive. I was so full of cynicism about this that I printed using these exact settings, just to prove them wrong. And amazingly, it worked. This is impressive. Depending on how many layers are in your print, this could significantly reduce print times. The video goes on to state, We recommend a calibration model to dial in the 3D printer with the resin. This will improve the success rate and ensure your models are printed with the highest detail as possible. Now that's okay. That's what I do with every unknown resin. I've even created a couple of videos on this exact subject. But here, I didn't need to bother. This fast time of 1.6 seconds worked perfectly for me. Genuinely, I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting typical marketing hype. But no, this really is faster than I've seen on any other castable resin. That's truly notable. Now to achieve these prints, I did use an enclosure heater. Monocure may state that preheating is not required, but... For optimal results, we advise running it at standard room temperature, around 25 degrees Celsius. And that's great. 
this is an Aussie product, and I know daytime temperatures can be pretty high there. But here in the UK, 25 degrees Celsius only happens on an unusually warm summer's day. But our buddy Angus over at Maker's Muse has already pointed out that Australian temperatures in the evening do fall below this threshold. So Monocure Marketing, you may want to rethink your wording here. Given that prints can take several hours and that ambient temperatures can fluctuate even in sunny Australia, a heater is a good idea and preheating may be necessary depending on when and where you print. From what I can see, there's no restrictions being placed on the size of the print supports that are needed and given that some castable resins insist on thick supports, this is very nice to see. But to be on the safe side, I added one large support to really anchor the print and then lots of fine tipped supports. Sure enough, at 0.03 layer height with no anti-aliasing, it printed beautifully. There's plenty of detail here, so this resin can certainly print well. When it comes to cleaning, Monocure Estate Use our Resin Away cleaning solution for a fast and effective result. Fortunately, their paperwork states that good old IPA works just as well, but not ethanol, which is a shame because it's all I've got. So I gave my print a quick ultrasonic clean with ordinary ethanol, and that seemed to work great. The supports are not brittle and clip away with ease. I cleaned again in ethanol using the ultrasonic for about a minute, and then I blasted away the excess with a cheap air sprayer. After that, five or 10 minutes of standard curing is all that's required. So there's no need for special washes or additional post printing processes that we've seen with other castable resins. Just the usual print, clean and cure that we do with everyday prints, which is great to see. You can of course print your sprues along with your model, but I decided to test how well ordinary wax sprues stick. And the answer is very well. There's no issues here. Burn away supports a fast burnout process as well as a regular wax style burnout. But personally, I'll stick with the longer schedule that I'm used to. I decided to use bronze simply because I didn't have any silver. Well, it looks okay. Nah, it's not perfect, but it would be unfair to blame Burn Away for that. I'm a self-confessed amateur, as you guys well know, and looking at this again, I think this sprue was in the wrong place. I've made the mistake of going from a thick sprue to a thin section of the design, and in hindsight, I can imagine this blasting metal into these areas and ruining the delicate plaster pattern. I think I would have been better off positioning the sprue here. But anyway. Okay, it's not my best casting as I cocked up the sprues for sure. And that has nothing to do with burn away, which on the whole has impressed me. So what do I think of Burn Away castable resin? Well, I have to say, Burn Away has impressed me. Their speed claims really do seem justified. However, if Monocure are pushing for worldwide sales, and I'm guessing that they are, then I think they need to adjust their marketing material regarding temperature claims. Unless you're in an area that never dips below 25 degrees Celsius, you will need to heat this resin. But these are minor gripes focused on marketing material and that distracts from the product itself. So to clarify, 
It prints beautifully with no need for extra thick supports that ruin the print. It cleans easily. There's no awkward or involved post printing processes that we've seen other products use. And it casts perfectly, even in the hands of a novice like me. I've no idea of the price as I can only see it in Aussie dollars. And I've no real idea about international sales. Though I do know from their website that they have resellers all over the world. But as long as the price is reasonable, this is a good product to try. Genuinely, it's nice and easy to use. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it useful. So take care and thanks for watching.